This is offensive and completely unacceptable. San Francisco schools are slammed for a fake reopen plan that would see students back in class just one day before end of school year so the district can get 12 million in state money. Welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host Dum Dum. I want to say thank you to all the viewers and all the returning viewers for coming and watching the content. If you're new to the channel, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leaving your comments below. So today's video is about this fake reopen that's happening in San Francisco, which doesn't really surprise me, but let's read the article. It says, the deal between the district and teachers union, which has been described as a blatant money grab, will see the class of 2021 not even receive an in-person instruction from teachers, but will instead have an in-person supervision. Parents and health officials have been pushing for district schools to reopen for months after private schools opened up again in fall. But the teachers union argued it was not safe for students to return until educators were vaccinated. After months of pushback, the teachers union announced Sunday the exciting news that it had reached an agreement with the district to allow seniors to return. Let's watch the videos. So what's going on here today is called a zoom in. The kids that have been doing distance learning, so all the kids in all the kids in San Francisco Unified School District have been doing distance learning for almost an entire year now. They're coming out today to be sure that they can show everybody what that looks like for them. And they're so passionate about it, they're even coming out in the rain here today, little kids. So they're calling into their classrooms from Zoom from the yard here overlooking this closed school. This morning, our office filed a lawsuit in Superior Court against the San Francisco Board of Education and the San Francisco Unified School District for its failure to formulate a plan designed to get the 54,000 students in the San Francisco Unified Schools District back to in-class learning as quickly as possible. The plan pre prepared by the San Francisco Unified School District and adopted by the Board of Education is ambiguous, empty rhetoric. It is a plan to make a plan and is legally insufficient. We want them to be able to return safely to the classroom. It is up to the district, the Board of Education, and their leadership to agree on a plan to do so. More than 54,000 San Francisco school children are suffering. They are being turned into Zumbies by online schooling. Enough is enough. Getting kids back in school needs to be the only priority of school district leadership. Nothing matters more than getting our kids back in school. As a city, we don't have control over this decision, which is really frustrating, but we've offered support and help for months. We've helped inspect schools and classrooms to get them ready. We work with the district to set up the testing necessary to monitor the virus when our educators and students do return. We've given $15 million to support our schools above what we already do through our normal budget process. I am the elected leader of this city and I'm not going to stand by while our children and our families continue to suffer with no end in sight. It's not acceptable to tell parents who are already under unbelievable stress and are seeing with their own eyes how their children are falling behind that distance learning is not good enough. This is offensive and completely unacceptable. So my final thoughts are this, you got the taxpayers, the parents and health officials telling you to reopen the schools, but you got the district and the teachers union that are saying no because it's not safe for the students. But we all know that the survival rate and the recovery rate, rate for this is very, very high for young people. Plus, I mean, how long does it take to vaccinate all of the educators? I've always heard for years and years and years that there's problems with the district and the teachers unions and I would say that the taxpayers and the citizens need to stand up and finally make a change so that they can get what they want. I mean they are paying the taxes which pays the salaries for all these people. But it doesn't surprise me the more and more I read about school districts and some teachers, not all, not all, not all, 
they just don't want to work. Well, those are my opinions. What are yours? Leave them in the comments below. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum.